Hi, welcome to Betsy for our Champions League round of 16 second leg preview. We know we've had the first games, we put you in the right direction with Benfica and PSG and I think we were right about Arsenal as well. There are four games we're going to cover and Paul and I are going to do it. I'm Alan McAnally, this is Paul Dickoff, ex-City and Arsenal striker and I am Sky Sports Soccer Saturday Pundit. Welcome to Betsy. Arsenal versus Bayern, it's already 5-1 to Bayern. If you're an Arsenal player, uh, are you just... I don't know, what do you want to have? You've got to, if you're an Arsenal player and you're Arsene Wenger, you've got to be positive and say, mm. let's get an early goal and see yeah. what it takes us. But, but Bayern were absolutely fantastic. Look, Arsenal were in the game up until half-time, 1-0. Yeah, 1-1 at half-time. Munich just blew them away, second half. Do you think they probably thought, well, we've got to half-time, we've done really well, and they haven't started the second half properly, and Bayern have just gone... Yeah, and I think they, they hurt Bayern Munich as well, mm. you know, and they've come out second half and Ancelotti's obviously got into them and look, they've got some top players, we were just speaking off camera there mm. saying you're three and four one down, how do you feel as an Arsenal player when Munich can still bring on somebody like Thomas Muller, yeah, exactly, it's got yeah. to kill you and does Ancelotti make four or five changes? Well that's the, that's the one, I'll give you the thing, uh, Arsenal 19 to 10, almost twos, 29 to 10 the draw, Munich 5 to 4, it's a big price for Bayern Munich, the only thing is what team does Ancelotti say, look, I think we've got this in the bag without being overly confident, what team does he play? He does, I think Ancelotti will go strong, mm -hmm. I think he'll want, to, he'll want to properly prove a point about yeah, how good maybe. his team is and you know we talk about Arsenal in the Premier League be, being possession wise one of the best teams that we have got, Yeah, they couldn't get the ball. No they couldn't, they couldn't, you're right, no, but, and Bayern, one of Bayern's big things is obviously having been a player at Bayern, is the possession we have? You can't have, you can't do anything if you don't mm -hmm. have the ball. So possession is a big thing yeah, for me. I mean, but when was Arsenal twenty five percent possession? No, that's in that's the whole incredible, game. man. I mean, seriously, right? Okay, let's just decide that Bayern are through. Yeah. Right. Give me a scoreline in the game, and this is just a this is a punt in the dark. Yeah, I could see Arsenal after saying all that maybe winning it. Yeah. One nil, two. Well, I was only going to say so. Ninety else. to ten on Betsy might yeah. be a good price. Two one one nil, three two but something like that. Only because I think. The, the, the ties won. Correct, uh, exactly. Napoli versus Real Madrid, 1-3, uh, 3-1-2 three, three, yeah. Real. It, was, it, wasn't, it didn't look at one point if it was going to be like that, to be honest. No, and this will be a tough game for them. I do Real agree. Real Madrid going, going to Naples. In there? Yeah. What a place. It, especially if Napoli can manage to score an early goal. We'll yeah. put them right on the back foot. Um, and Madrid, over the last few weeks, have not been as convincing mm -hmm. as they were at the first half of the season. They're conceding goals. You know, mm -hmm. they were lucky at the weekend. Two nil down, three two, three two in the end. Yeah. Real, wasn't it? And they got a penalty that was never a penalty no, as well. Okay, um, but I think it'll be a tough game for them. But look, when you've got Ronaldo bail back fit ag bail again back. as well, True. it's hard to back against Real Madrid. Napoli nine to five, they're a big price. Draw eleven to four. Madrid seven to five. Some belt and prices on yeah. Betsy if there is for some of these Champions League games. It'll be a toughie. If I was having a bet, I might just plonk for the draw and just make yeah. sure that Real Madrid just sort of do enough. With the experience they've got in the team, they, they, they'll make sure they get through this tie, but I don't think it'll be easy for them. That'll be a belting game to watch, yep, by the way. Well. A belting game to watch. Uh, this is where I can get really smug now. Barcelona nil, PSG 4. Called it, big man. A fancied PSG social. You know, it's in Paris. They're almost unbeatable in Paris. Yep. And I know Barca have been a little iffy and Messi's been getting a bit of stick because it almost looks as though, unless he scores, he looks as if he's walking around. They can play PSG. Yeah, they can, and they're a good team. Don't get me wrong. And Having said that, I didn't think for one minute it finished 4-0. They were absolutely fantastic were on the right. night. Cavani, after the last few seasons, playing second fiddle to Ibrahimovic. This, yep. 34 goals he's got already this year. Amazing. I know the French league isn't no. what it should be, but PSG were great. The one thing I will say about this, mm -hmm. if there's one team... Mm -hmm. At home. At home, that's got Neymar, Suarez and Messi that can go and beat any team 4 or 5 now. it's Barcelona. Barca 1-2, to two. it could be the biggest prize in the history of <laughs> Betsafe.com if <laughs> they manage to do that. 19-5 to five the draw, PSG 51-10, to 10. fives, over fives yeah. on PSG. If you think Barca can win 4-0, it's 23-1. to one. Barca minus 3, 22-3. Well, you've got to be daft if you're going to say Barca's going to go through. But, as I've just said, they are the one team that could go and beat anybody. I think, again, Barca 1-2 and your doubles and trebles. I think Barca in the game might be I think, but, called. I think but, Barcelona will win the game. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. But yeah. the form PSG are in, especially going forward, you can see them scoring as well. My absolute banker. Absolute banker. And I, I did put my neck in the block and say, Benfica are strong at home. Yeah. Dortmund have been good. 
having done the game for Sky, they probably should have won the game. Benfica won one nil. Obama Yang missed a penalty in glorious amount of yeah. chances, and uh, Dortmund are one to three, and it is the standout bet for me. There is no chance Dortmund don't win this game. No, especially at home. And he look, says. You've got to give yourself a bit of credit. You called it. You yeah, see, it's a tough game. Fancy but Benfica. I did. At home. Right, I've been there. there. It's really it's a hard place to play yeah. football. It really is. But then again, Dortmund with the chances they've had, if they create the same sort of chances, I would imagine Dortmund go through. Yeah, I can see Dortmund winning it comfortably. Especially, look, Benfica won the game 1-0. We're mm. saying it's a tough place to go, but Dortmund but should have won the game. Was it, it was yeah. at Fulham and kind of disappeared off the planet and now he's scoring Champions League goals. Yeah, I know, but Dortmund should have won the game over there. Mm. And if they're creating chances in Benfica, which is a tough place to go in Dortmund, I can see them winning quite comfortably. 3-4 easily that much yeah. okay well in that case then I'm going to give you some top prices that Paul's managed to pick out there 1-3 to three Dortmund to win the game 9-2 to two the draw a massive 80-90-10 over nearly 9-1 to one on Benfica Benfica to advance even money I'll lay you anything you want on that yeah. Dortmund minus 1 9-10 to ten. it really could be yeah. the standout bet of the uh, thing so let's go through so we're happy with Dortmund, Dortmund. we think P Barca will probably just win it but yeah. PSG will go through Napoli Real Madrid, a plump for 11 for the draw there. I can see. I've got to go with you on that. You know? Yeah, it's I a think topic. Madrid are going to go through. Yeah. yeah. And Arsenal Bayern, we think that Arsenal maybe might just win the game on the night. Just purely because I think Munich could make a lot of changes with being 5 on up. 19 to 10, Arsenal are. Remember, if you're a new customer and you're only just watching Paul and myself on BetSafe, if you fancy a £10 bet, BetSafe will give you £20 absolutely free. free. Good luck with your Champions League bets. We'll be back for the next round of 16, second leg as well, of course, as the following week of week 28 for our Premier League preview. Good luck to everybody in BetSafe land with all your bets, and let's hope we'll put you in the right direction for your sportsbook wallet to be a little thicker on Thursday morning.